Hi, I'm Pete Iarizzo with UAlbanySports.com. We are now eight days away from the UAlbany football team season opener at Old Dominion here with Coach Greg Gattuso. Coach, you guys broke camp the other day. Uh, can you give us an idea how much progress do you feel like your team made over the past month? Uh, you know, we're, I think on the offensive line, we're making progress. You know, they need to get in into the game situations to really start progressing, and, and uh, I think they will. You know, I think it's going to be some rough spots early. Um, you know, Old Dominion's really, really good up front, and, and they're very inexperienced, so it's a it's a tough matchup. But I think they're coming along, and overall, I, I think you know we've we've gotten our offense in, our defense. I think we're doing a good job getting our special teams ready. So um, right now we're on schedule. You know, I think you know the next four or five practices are really important to kind of fine tune and and um, you know really try to sharpen up what we're doing. You went into training camp saying that you hoped one quarterback emerged, and now you've said that Will Brunson will start the season opener. Can you talk about Will's camp and, and how he came along? Yeah, he's you know he's kind of been the guy right now since the end of the season last year. I, a lot of people ask me about you know I, I keep getting questions about who the starting quarterback is. It hasn't changed since New Hampshire last year. He you know he started and did well and finished the year really well. Had a good spring. You know, he knows what we're doing. He's in charge out there. I think he's, you know, separation for a coach is, I think, takes time and takes games when the kid can put multiple good games together and lead the team. So that's what we're looking for and can't do that in just two games. I, I, I have confidence in him and I think he's um, going to go out and do a great job for us. And all that said, I think Nevin's a guy we trust too. So Nevin's won games and, and he's a trustworthy young man and a talented guy. So we feel good about having two quarterbacks. Is there any particular position group that stood out so far? You know, I, I really think our tight ends have a lot of ability catching the ball, and uh, I think that's a good thing. I think, you know, we've, we've got some depth at running back this year, which is which has really been a problem for this first couple of years. Um, I think that's important. Um, I think that, um, you know, the, li the, the defensive line has been really good, though, banged up, and we're trying to get them healthy. Uh, the back end's been really solid, again, trying to get them healthy. You know, that's really what we're facing right now is injuries and, um, that's kind of thinned our ranks down a little bit. But overall, I feel pretty good about we've, the linebackers have solidified, the, the offensive line has solidified, and that's, that's good. The next week or so, how much do you start to zero in on Old Dominion and work on game planning specifically for that matchup? You know, we're really, you know, today's for the most part an Old Dominion day, and, we, you know, we've kind of turned our attention to them since uh, yesterday. And, and uh, you know, it's a, an opportunity to get a little extra practice. You know, we, who knows what we're going to get. You know, you're going into a game with, with – uh, a team you haven't played, but you know they've been successful, so I don't think they're going to change a whole lot. And I think, you know, that they have a size advantage and obviously 20 some more scholarships. So I think they're a big challenge for us. But uh, ultimately, it's it's a matter of uh, you know uh, going out and playing our, our game and and to give ourselves a chance to try to win. All right, thanks a lot, Coach. Appreciate right. it. Thank you.